guys, it has been two years since I have made my last video. That's crazy. My last upload was January 15th, 2018, around then. And that's even hard for me to say that it's been that long. But since then, I've had some big life events, some big changes that's been going on. So I've just had no time to make any type of YouTube videos. So from here on out, my goal is to at least post once a month. I hope I can do better than that, but that's my goal from starting out. Uh, but the video today, just kind of give you a heads up what I've been doing, where have I been the last two years. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so number one, I got my master's. This has always been part of my four or five year plan that I was gonna do from the very beginning. I ended up doing mine online from a campus that's about 15, 20 minutes away from where I live. The only time I actually went to campus was for graduation and it looked like that, all right? So I would highly recommend if you're a young teacher getting your master's early, it pays off in the long run. What I ended up doing, I started in the summer. I went through summer classes, I went to fall, and then did spring and then summer. So I actually was able to knock out all 10 classes in that time period. Number two, we bought a house. So during this time period, I bet we looked at a hundred houses, trying to find one that had the right acreage, it was out in the country, and most importantly, it was in our budget. And after about a year of looking, we finally found the one that we were in right now. Number three, I got engaged. So I had been dating my girlfriend for about four years um, and guys, you know it's time when great grandma starts asking you questions about the marriage um, and when this wedding's gonna be, when you go to holiday functions. So I knew it was time. And plus, if she can put up with my jokes and my antics all the time, I knew that she was the one. Number four. So the past few years, I've actually had a part-time job majority of the year from about early spring to late fall. I've had a part-time job to go along with teaching. Um, the first year I mowed yards and I've actually done that before. But the problem was I started having neck issues and then ended up with a lot of headaches. So I had to stop. This past year, I actually got a job at a botanical garden where they hold small music events, weddings, things like that. And they're really flexible with my schedule, which is really nice. Number five, I know I'm crazy, but I actually went back to get more schooling. As you know, a lot of schools, how they do their pay scale is bachelor's and then 10, 20, 30, and then master's. 10, 20, 30. Sometimes, I haven't seen a whole bunch around here, but then they have PhD level, but I really wanted to get my master's plus 30. So I went back to school. I did five more advancement classes in the spring, and then I did five in the summer, and it was actually ended up finishing just before this school year. Number six. Okay, so guys, this is my favorite. For the past four or five years, I've really been into urban farming, gardening. This actually used to be what our patio used to look like at an apartment we lived at for a few years. Um, and so when we bought our house, we only have an acre, which I know it's not crazy and big, but that's like the perfect amount for what we want to do for right now. And so for the past year, we've raised meat chickens. We did turkeys for Thanksgiving. Um, we did 10 of those. So one for our family and then nine for other people's families. Um, currently I got honeybees right now as well. And um, I have egg laying chickens going as well. So our farm isn't really for profit. It's more just to be able to feed our family at the end of the day. Number seven, we got a cat. So as you can see, it's not super time consuming, but he's pretty cool. So I figured I'll throw him in there. Finally, number eight, I got married in November, and I'm sure most of you guys know that plenty of wedding is hard business and very time consuming. Although I didn't have to make majority of the decisions, I still had to do a lot of this throughout our planning process.